Como presidente del Perú, reitero mi compromiso total con la gobernabilidad y la Constitución. Yo no voy a renunciar ni me voy a dejar forzar por declaraciones que no tienen justificación alguna. No existe ninguna razón para volver tres meses después de que se hizo un primer intento a hacer nuevamente un pedido de vacancia sin ninguna evidencia adicional. Yo estoy comprometido con el Perú y lo que estamos viendo ahora es que vamos a perder oportunidades por esta inestabilidad que yo no genero. La, la presidencia de Pedro Pablo en Perú began with his inauguration on Perú Independence Day, July 28, 2016, and ended with the president's resignation following a corruption scandal on March 23, 2018. In June 2016, Pedro won over Keiko Fujimori of Popular Force with 50.12% of the vote. However, in those same elections, he achieved a majority in the Congress while the ruling group Pelas Nos Paul L. Cambio drew a few congressmen. From the beginning, relations between the legislative and executive were strained, and on September 15, 2017, the Congress denied the vote of confidence to then President of the Council of Ministers, Fernando Zavara, with which Pedro had to appoint a new cabinet. This included five new ministers and was chaired by the second vice president and also congresswoman Mercedes Aldoz Fernandez. His government has also been marked by the Deprech case. Pedro himself was the subject of two impeachments in Congress for its con of interest with the company, the first of which failed. Soon after, Congress pardoned former President Alberto Fujimori, who was serving a 25-year sentence for crimes against humanity. The decision triggered protests in Lima and eight other cities as well as the resignation of three of its ministers and the criticism of a broad spectrum of personalities. National political crisis finally led to a second process of presidential vacancy promoted by the Fujimoristas of popular force. But a few days before the Congress debated the vacancy request, the Fujimoristas reviewed videos and audios that showed that government operators, including a minister of state, were negotiating with a popular force congressman to buy their vote against the government vacancy in exchange for works for your region. The next day, the president sent his letter of resignation to Congress, which was accepted on 23rd March 2018. That same day, the engineer Martin Vichara was sworn in as new president for being in the line of succession as he was the first vice president of the republic. The slogan of the Pedro administration was Trabajando Pala toward working for all Peruvians in inclusive language. The second round of voting took place on June 5th, 2016, which Pedro won by a narrow margin. A few days after the ballot, he confirmed that Alfredo Thon would assume the opposition of Prime of Minister of Economy and Finance. On June 28th, the National Elections Board presented the credentials of Pedro as president and Martin Vichara and Mercedes Aloz as vice president. 
Arts in a ceremony held at the Municipal Theater of Lima. On Sunday, July 10th, he announced that Fernando Zavara would be the president of the Council of Ministers and days later both announced the members of the first ministerial cabinet. The inauguration ceremony was held on 28th July 2016 at the Legislative Palace. It counted with the presence of King Jean Carlos I of Spain, the Latin American presidents and so many others. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.